So here we are. You can see that I've got my uh, setup here on the iPad with Touchable, and I've got uh, things going on with Ableton Live over here on the computer. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the volume setup here. This is pretty cool. It's your mix section. If I push play on the iPad on the uh, transport, you can see here I've got levels. I've got uh, I can actually change the volumes of things, which is pretty cool. Now on the computer, if I go over here and I change the volume on the computer, you can see that change is reflected on the iPad as well, which is pretty hot. It's not just a one-way connection, it's actually a two-way connection. The other cool thing about the uh, iPad is I've got all these toggles so I can see everything I need, which is really cool. I've got pan reset, send reset, volume reset, uh, solo arm, everything I really need to get going. I've also got I've also got all my sends levels here, so if I want to adjust sends levels of things, I can do that. So if I want to send stuff to A or B, I can set that up however I want to have it set up. Now, I can also go over here to uh, my volume, and then I can click on my main master volume and got that out. All right. So what we're going to talk about next is the basically the sections on the right hand side of the iPad. Now, you've got two sections here. You've got your transport section on the bottom and then on the top you've got your clip section. On the transport section you've got everything you really need to kind of uh, to kind of get going with things. You've got your play button and this also stops things like that. You can play things again. Stop it. You've got your overdub button if you want to write over the clip. You've got your uh, headphone cue amount so you can adjust the volume of your click or any kind of uh, clips that you're previewing. You've got your metronome on and off. You've got your nudges, so you can uh, kind of nudge the tempo there. And then what I like a lot is on down here at the bottom, I've got my global cue, so I can change that. And I've got my record quantize. Now that's really cool because, as you know, on the computer to get to record quantize, you actually have to go into the menu and then go down to the pull down, which kind of bugs me because it's a lot of steps to go through just to change my record quantize. But on here, on with Touchable, I only have to go over here and click this cue and then click uh, which setting I want the quantize to be at. Now up at the top, I've got my clip settings and these are pretty cool. What I do is I, first of all, I turn the clip on and off. I turn it on and I go to this arrow button. I click that and I choose which clip I want to play with and it shows up on my computer screen. It takes me right to the clip view on the computer screen. Now in here on the iPad on Touchable I've got several uh, things that I can edit. Uh, for example the loop length, I've got the start amount, I've got my oops, I've got my length, I can change that and then I've also got loop on or off and then here I've got my clip on and off so if I want to turn the clip off I can just click that button like that. Now what I have these green arrows under here are the undo and redo for the global edit undo and redo which is really cool so if I'm doing a recording if I'm moving things around or whatever if I don't like what I did I can just hit the undo button like for example let's say that I change my volume amounts here I can hit undo and change those back which is really hot to have those buttons right there it's not too hard to reach for command Z but this kind of makes it a little bit easier. So the other part of this, if I hide these transport and clip controls, now I've got a whole bunch of different controls that I can see over here on the right hand side. I've got my clips control, overall clips. I've got my mixer that I can set up. I've got my devices, my keys, and my pads. Which, as you can see, the pads and the keys are obviously for playing. Let's go back first though and talk about the clips and the mixer. Now, each one of these has a top view and a bottom view button on the left hand side. This row right down here is top and bottom it says. And what it means is basically the screen is set up in the top half and a bottom half. In the top half I can put something and in the bottom half I can put something. So right now in my top view I've got the clips view going on and I can push play and get the clips moving and then just like in a normal Ableton Live, if I click on a clip on here, I can actually start that clip playing. So if I want to start my drums playing right here. So now you can hear the drums just came in. And if I want to start another clip playing, I can just click on it. So it's pretty cool for just kind of getting your ideas out there, all right? Across the bottom, I've got my stop button. So if I want to stop some clips, 
I just click those and it stops those. I also have my solo buttons, which I can solo things out or unsolo it. Whatever I want to do, it's all right there. Pretty cool stuff.